There we go. We have our first silver quarter of the box. Hello, corn enthusiasts out there. It is I, Dax Collects, and today what I have in front of me is quarter box number nine here on YouTube. Let's do another quarter box hunt to see what we can find in circulation. I may or may not be opening two in this video. We'll have to see. Today is Wednesday, January 3rd. I can go to the bank on Friday and maybe I'll do another quarter box with you guys. So this could be a two box quarter hunt. So quarters to look out for are gonna be the Silver Washington quarters, mid to between 1932 to 1964, any West Point Mint quarters minted between 2019 to 2020, and any proofs and anything for the books, as well as any errors and or varieties that I can possibly find inside of these rolls. And that's pretty much it. And if you haven't seen my last quarter box video, I'll put the link right up here so you can go ahead and watch that one before you watch this one. All right, let's open this box up and check what's inside. All right, and as you can see, we have a circulated box of quarters right here. I'm gonna go ahead and check both sides of the ender, and I'll be right back to let you know if I find anything that stand out from the rest. I have just finished checking both sides of the ender, and there's gonna be one that stands out. Check this out. This one is a silver Washington quarter from the year 1964, the very last year that they minted the Washington quarters in 90% silver. And although that is true, the United States actually minted silver proof coins starting in 1992. And those had 90% silver as well. But the only way you were able to get those is if you actually bought them from the mint themselves. They also minted silver proof state quarters and silver proof national park quarters and silver proof American women quarters. Just wanted to point that out. So that's very exciting to see. Because whenever I see an ender of something crazy, that means there could be more inside. Or it could just be the one that's it. I'm hoping that there's more than just this one. All right. I'll open these first five rolls with you, see what we can find inside. After that's done, I'll go ahead and open these rolls on my own, and then we'll go straight to the full box recap. So, with that being said, let's get right into it. So when I weigh these quarters, they weigh about an average of 227.5 to 228.1. If it exceeds that, then there's a potential chance that there's a silver quarter inside. So since this weighs 228.4, there might be one inside, but they're still very well, could just be all clad. Let's go ahead and open this roll up. All right, looks like all clad. Let's go ahead and bring these on down. I'll go through each one of these quarters and I'll let you know if there's anything that stands out. I still need to find one National Park quarter, the 2012 Philadelphia Acadia. So if I find one of those, I'll let you guys know. All right, let's start with roll number two. So that I can comfortably say that there are no silver quarters inside of this roll. Oh, geez. <laughs> Take a look at what I just found. Our first 
W minted quarter of the box. It is the American Memorial Park 2019 Washington quarter. Only 2 million of these were ever minted for each of the 2019 and the 2020 designs. Let's see what else we can find inside of this roll. Okay, roll number three. Doesn't look like there's going to be any silver inside of this one. All right. Next up. Roll number four. 228.4. There could be a chance. There we go. We have our first silver quarter of the box. I'm going to go through these quarters real quick. And once we get to the silver quarter, we'll take a look at it together and see what the year and mint of that quarter is. All right, we made it to the silver quarter. This one here is from the year 1959, minted in Denver. This quarter right here will be an addition to my collection book. Let's see what else we could find. Let's open one more roll together. This will be roll number five. No extra leaf on that Wisconsin quarter. 228.2. Might have a silver, might not. And after going through the first five rolls of this box, here's what I found so far. A 1959 Silver Washington Quarter and one West Point Quarter. And it is the American Memorial Park right here. That's a pretty good start. We'll see if we can find any more silver or West Point Quarters inside of this box. Hopefully you guys are excited for these next rolls. Like me, this should be a lot of fun. I am currently on roll number 19. Let's take a look at this roll together. 228.5. I had it open up just a little bit already, but I wanted to record this live with you guys. So let's see if there's a silver quarter inside or is this just a teaser? This roll was just a teaser. All right, let's keep on going. Next roll, roll number 20. We have another roll of quarters. That's over 228 grams. Let's go ahead and open this up together and see if there's any silver inside. No, there isn't. Let's see what else we can find. I am currently on roll number 26. We have another roll that weighs 228.5. Let's go ahead and open this up together. And let's see if there is a silver quarter inside. And no, there isn't. All right, I am currently on roll number 40. Take a look at this. I found a decently sized die chip on top of Washington's hat. This is just a crossing the Delaware Washington quarter from Philadelphia. And some examples have the die chip like 
acting more like a crown in a sense. Like it'd go from from where that is to like all the way to the tip of the hat. Let's see what else we can find. Currently on roll number 45. This is my second West Point minted Washington quarter. And it has the privy right there that says V75. 75th anniversary of the victory of World War II. So this is from the year 2020. And it is the American Samoa National Park quarter. Very nice. Next roll, roll number 46. Getting closer to that ender. Take a look at the weight of this roll right here. 228.8. It's got me excited. Let's open this roll up and let's see what's inside. It was all just a tease. Let's keep on going. All right, we have made it to roll number 48. There's that silver quarter. Sticks out like a sore thumb. Nineteen sixty four minted in Denver. Can we find one more in two rolls? We'll have to see. All right. I have just finished quarter box number nine. Let's go ahead and do a full box recap right now. So let's set this aside and let me show you guys what I found inside of this box. And here they are. Let's go over them real quick. I found two silver quarters here, one from the year 1959, minted in Denver, and the other one being from 1964, minted in Denver. Found two West Point quarters here. This one's the American Memorial Park quarter, and this one is the American Samoa National Park quarter. And I found one die chip quarter. So not a bad box whatsoever. We'll see if later in the week I'll pick up another quarter box, and if not, then I'll go ahead and bring out the collection books. I'll be right back with you guys shortly. I have decided to do a two box quarter hunt. Here's the next box for the video. This is quarter box number 10. I just picked up this box from my local bank 15 minutes ago. Let's get right into it, shall we? Let's open this box up and check what's inside. And as you can see, we have a circulated box of quarters, which is great. I'm gonna go ahead and check all these enders right now, and I'll let you know if I find anything that stand out from the rest. I have just finished checking both sides of the ender, and there's gonna be nothing that stands out. So once again, I'm still looking for the 2012 Philadelphia National Park quarter with the Acadia Reverse. So, Let's see if we'll find one of those inside of these 50 rolls. So I'll do the same format as the previous box. I'll open these first five rolls with you, see what we can find. Then I'll open the rest of these rolls up on my own. Then once I'm done with that, I'll do a full box recap. So let's get started. So with that being said, let's get right into it. Let's get started with the first roll of this box. Not often do I see a roll that weighs 229.1, so that's got me excited. Let's take a look at this roll together. Let's see what we can find inside. Don't see any silver inside of this one. Let me take a look at these quarters individually. Roll number two.
Don't see any silver in this roll. All right, roll number three weighs in at 227.5. Don't see anything. All right. All right, two more rolls left to check here together. That one doesn't look like it's going to be anything too special. All right, one last roll to check together here. Roll number five. Let's see what it weighs in at. 227.9, okay. So after the five rolls, didn't find anything too crazy. So I'm gonna go ahead and open these rolls up on my own and I will let you know if I find anything inside of these rolls. Currently on roll number 22, and take a look at this. We have a Lowell 2019 National Park Quarter with a West Point Mint Mark. This is the first one of the box. Let's see what else we can find inside of this box. All right, I have just finished quarter box number 10. Let's go ahead and do a full box recap right now so let's set this aside this is the only find of that box it is the lowell 2019 west point quarter right here unfortunately no silver quarters inside of this box and that's all right now i'm going to go ahead and bring down all the finds of the two boxes and do a two box recap this is the two box recap Found two silver quarters, both from quarter box number nine. Managed to find three West Point minted quarters right here. And one die chip crossing the Delaware Washington quarter. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this two box quarter hunt because I sure had a fun time. I'm going to set this to the side here. Now I just have these five here. Let's go ahead and bring out the collection books. We're gonna start with this one right here first. National Park Quarters, collection 2016 to 2021, number two. Let's open this up. Trying to build a West Point collection here over in this area. As you can see, I have four in this book right now and I did find a Lowell I'm gonna definitely replace this one here with the one I just found in this video we are actually gonna have a new one for the book the American Samoa National Park quarter so let's go ahead and put this one in here first All right, and there we go. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this one, since it is a 2020 National Park, it's gonna go right in this spot. So let's plug it in. And there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and put the description down here and I'll be right back. All right. There we go. We'll continue our search for the West Point quarters in the future. This is what this side of the book looks like after quarter box number nine and number 10. And now let's go ahead and close this book. 
and I already have this American Memorial Park West Point Quarter in the collection book. I'll keep it just because of its rarity. All right, and all that's left are two silver quarters. So let's bring out that collection book. Washington Quarters, collection 1948 to 1964, number two. These are the only two quarters in this book as of right now. The 1953 Denver and the 1964 Denver. I already have a 1964 Denver in my collection book. Will it upgrade? Let's see. Yeah, I would say since this one has more of that silver look to it, that'll upgrade. And this 1959 Washington Quarter from Denver will be an addition. And that'll go right in this spot. See, here's the 1964 Denver side by side. You could definitely see this is toned, but it's still very shiny. This one will replace it with this one. And then here's that 1959 Denver. Let's go ahead and plug these in right now. So now after going through quarter boxes number nine and number 10, this is what my Washington Quarters collection book number two looks like right now. Still got lots to go to complete this book. It's going to be very, very difficult to find these silver quarters still out there in circulation. But we'll keep on trying. And now let's go ahead and close this book. I'm going to store this somewhere else with my other silver. That'll be it for this video. So if you guys like this video, I appreciate it. Leave a like if you want and subscribe if you want as well as I go through more coin boxes with you guys and see what I can find. Let me know down in the comments below of any of your silver finds in circulation or if you have any of these in your possession as well as any Standing Liberties, Barber Quarters, you name it. Let me know what you have down in the comments section. I would love to hear what you guys have in your collection. And now I'm gonna go ahead and start signing off. So thank you guys for tuning in. This has been Dax Collects, and I'll catch you guys on the flip. Good luck hunting, everyone, and have a good one. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you want to check out another video of mine, click on the tab in the bottom left corner.